Hi everyone, I'm going to be answering this question and showing you the answer to this question today via a demonstration. Now this question is, when should I be using BB cream and CC cream? It's a question I get asked a lot. I see it in my comment section all the time and I thought let's straighten it out today and actually address this subject. Also guys, don't forget, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm on Instagram too, so you can come say hi there. Now, let's carry on with the video. So to get started, I have nothing on my face. The only thing I have on is my moisturizer and nothing else. So we're gonna get started by explaining to you exactly when you should be using CC cream and when you should be using BB cream. But firstly, that means that I do need to actually go into what each of them actually does. Starting with a CC cream. I'll be honest, recently I feel like brands have really kind of like changed their game when it comes to CC products and BB products products because nowadays I feel like you have way more of a selection and just more shades available and it's not as kind of diluted as it used to be because I feel like before when I used to think about a BB cream or a CC cream I automatically thought it's a product which isn't going to give me much coverage is just good for my skin and it's just probably going to slide off and I probably don't have the right color for my skin tone especially when you have darker skin tone. This is where I feel like the brands have really kind of ticked all the boxes recently and there's a couple of brands in particular that I would highly recommend because I do personally use their BB and CC creams and they are literally as good if not better than a lot of the foundations out there especially when it comes to the shade range. We're going to start off with CC cream and I'm also going to be applying this to one side of my face so that you can really see the difference as well. I mean this video isn't so much about seeing the difference between BB and CC cream maybe I'll actually do a video really focused on that later on. It really is to explain to you when you should use it and just kind of help you to understand and simplify what a BB cream is and what CC cream is. Now, as I said, starting with the CC cream, it isn't as complicated as it used to be because now you have so many different finishes to CC creams. Like before, I would say you probably had heard that CC creams have a little bit more coverage than BB creams and BB creams are usually for like drier skin tones. But I feel like they are catering a lot more to kind of all skin tones so that we can not tone skin types so that we can actually make the most of these products too and it's not just targeted to those specific skin types as much as it used to be the case I feel like nowadays anyone can kind of use a BB cream and a CC cream which is great news for all of us out there I have to say over the last year I've transitioned more into CC creams and BB creams and I probably wear that mostly during the week now if I need to do full glam then I'll use a full-on proper foundation but generally day to day my base is always either a CC cream or a BB cream and it all depends on the type of coverage I want and I genuinely feel like it has helped my skin because it's good for your skin. As I said, we're going to start with CC creams. Now the brand that I would recommend for CC creams is It Cosmetics. They have a great selection, the shade range is amazing and they have a couple of different finishes. So they have two different finishes here. You've got one which is your oil free and it gives you a matte finish. Then you also have your CC Nude Glow. So this gives you more of a dewy finish to your skin. It's actually not overly dewy and that's what I love about it because it isn't too shiny shiny, it doesn't slide off your face. These are kind of I would say, although it doesn't say, I don't think it does say, but to me, I would say, not obviously anyway, not on the front of the pack, but I, I would say these are pretty self-setting. Even BB creams, I feel like they set really, really well. Now, both of these have SPF 40 and UV protection. So it's great for your skin. I love the fact that it's high protection because I know that my skin is gonna be looked after when I'm out there in the heat, in the sun, as well as giving me that great coverage. It's also protecting my skin from the heat and just kind of helping with anti-aging and things. And like like preventing fine lines. I would say a CC cream has a little bit more coverage than a BB cream. The reason I say generally is because I feel like nowadays, like more recently, brands have really started improving the coverage on BB creams. Like now they're just taking it, they've taken it right up there and it's sitting quite nicely next to CC creams in terms of coverage. Now, traditionally, a CC cream is basically a color corrector. So it's a color correcting cream. So it helps to give you some kind of color to your face, like a veil of color, and it gives you good coverage. So it can be used instead of a foundation. So I would say that still is the case, but at the same time, I do feel like it's a very fine line between a BB cream and a CC cream nowadays. I feel like BB creams are really up their game. So they're kind of, like I said, sitting alongside CC creams. So there's not much difference when it comes to what they both do. Probably 
maybe down to just the ingredients that those specific brands may be used. I would say a CC cream is great at giving you hydration, but also it is packed with like kind of potent ingredients, which are really, really good for you. Way more potent ingredients than what a traditional foundation is full of. This does help to improve your skin over time as well. Again, it's really, it's really strange. And I'm wondering down like a few years down the line like where CC creams and BB creams are going to what they're going to transition into because everything is just becoming so much better like for example even foundations these days have like they're infused with skincare now a lot of them so they're kind of like you know the brands which have purely just foundations are kind of like switching on to the fact that you know we want to really be able to tick those same boxes as a CC cream does and a BB cream does too because ultimately when you look at the difference when it comes to the texture there's not much difference it's quite a thick cream and I I would say a BB cream is always pretty thick too, to be honest. There's only one pretty fluid one that I use, but ultimately there is a lot more coverage, I would say, in a CC cream. Now, when it comes to when you should use it, you, sh you can use a CC cream instead of your moisturizer. So this basically can be used as your moisturizer, as your serum, as your treatment. And the reason for that is because it is packed with so much skincare in there. It has so many benefits to this and with prolonged use, it can actually help to improve your skin as well again i wouldn't hold that down to every single cc cream i would look at the brand as well and read up on their specific products their cc creams that they offer this you can use instead of your moisturizer me personally i would say use this instead of your moisturizer if you feel comfortable with it but basically like i still use my moisturizer and then i go over with my bb or cc cream i feel like i'm just not used to the fact that there's something with color in it that can replace my moisturizer and that's going to you know, have immediate impact to my skin, you know, and there's nothing in between. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. This is my CC cream from It Cosmetics and this specific shade is tan because I am pretty tanned at the moment. Now I am gonna basically apply, this is like a thick cream. I'm gonna apply this to this side here. And you'll see how this actually gives amazing coverage. So the coverage is great with the CC cream. And this specific one actually states that it can be used as your concealer as well. So you can use this straight after your moisturizer, or like I said, you can use this instead of your moisturizer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to eye area as well, because I really want you to see you know, like, so we can really see, like, does this actually replace the concealer as well? Because that would be the area that I would apply a concealer. There you go. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I feel like we've got a really nice even finish there and the coverage is amazing too. So this is the point when you can use it. Like if you feel that your skin is maybe slightly kind of like breaking out or anything, I would suggest then using a CC cream and you can continue to set this as normal if you want. So you can use powder on top, you can use concealer on top, which is separate and just finish your makeup as usual. My, my recommendation would be is if you're gonna use a good CC cream, cream and especially the brands that I mentioned because I've tr they're tried and tested and I've used them in in every way possible on my face I would recommend using it just instead of your foundation for a little while just see how that goes see how it sits on your skin generally you shouldn't have a problem when it comes to like separating on the skin and things like that and it's sliding off because it is quite a solid product I would say like it doesn't look cakey on the skin your skin still looks good and the great thing is like I said it's your skin but it's just becoming better each day that's actually a very similar slogan to it cosmetics is your skin but better this specific one I'm going to read this out to you it's a cc plus cream it's oil free matte poreless finish full coverage finish and hydrating and anti-aging concealer so it's a foundation and concealer all in one like well not a foundation but it's full coverage and it does give you the same effects as a concealer. SPF 40. So like, like I said, even on here, it says this can be used as your foundation, as your concealer, serum, moisturizer, and daily SPF based on your coverage needs. So you can just keep adding more on if you want to, or you can just apply a very small amount. If you want to, you could add a pump of this mixed in with your moisturizer if you wanna just make it a little bit more fluid so it's not so heavy and it's not so stiff. And as you can see, the finish is pretty matte. I would say generally with 
the CC creams that used to be the case, like most of them are pretty matte. So that's the kind of finish that you would get. But again, like I said, it Cosmetics have just come out with the CC Glow, the nude glow. So it does give you more of a dewy finish. If you want something which is gonna stay in place, which isn't gonna look overly shiny, it's kind of self-setting, then I would say this one is great. So a CC cream, I would say is great if you want something which is very close to your skin color. I do feel that when I've used CC creams, they kind of adapt a little bit to your skin tone. So maybe that's down to the color correction in there. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but that is my experience with it. Like when I've used a different shade to this, which is neutral tan, this one is just tan. It initially looks very pale on my skin, but after a little while it settles down. So maybe that is down to that color correction, you know? So that basically is the CC cream for you. So hopefully you can, un you've, you find it much more easier to understand what a CC cream is when you can use it. So it's good for your skin. It makes your skin look healthier and over prolonged use as well. It can actually improve the condition of your skin. You can use it in place of your moisturizer serum, SPF, everything. This basically is just like a just ticks every box. This can replace everything, basically. When it comes to your base, this can replace everything. So that's when you can use this. Can you use this on a daily basis? Yes, you can. Can you use this every so often when you want to? Yes, you can. You can use this whenever you want because it's that good for your skin. Moving on, let's move on to a BB cream now. Now, there are two BB creams that I alternate between every so often. They are the Arborean Super BB Cream and also my One Size BBB Cream. So this is a beauty blur balm. Now a BB cream stands for like a blemish balm or a beauty balm. So it's something which is good for kind of acne prone skin as well. And it is also hydrating at the same time. BB creams are something that actually it's cosmetic surgeons used to apply to their, their clients after they'd have like a facelift or something because it actually helps the, the skin to heal and improve over time. So they're getting that little bit of coverage, but then they're also getting something which is good for their skin and it helps to just improve the texture and everything. So this is again, uh, and like I said, there's a very fine line between a CC cream and a BB cream, I personally feel. These are very good for your skin. Now, I have two of them. They are actually very different in texture because in the All Bear Airborean Super BB cream is actually quite fluid. And the one size Turn Up The Base BBB Beauty Blur balm, <laughs> I can't say. As soon as there's too much to say, it just comes out wrong. But this one actually is a lot thicker. So let me go through both of them one by one. The difference is between these two is that this one doesn't actually have any SPF in there. So this is more of a, it kind of gives you everything that BBB BB cream would do, but it doesn't have any SPF in there. So that's the only thing with this one. It's great for your skin, but it's not actually gonna protect your skin. This is, like it says in the title, it's more of a blurring balm. So it's kind of like applying a balm. It is actually a balm texture, but with a bit of color in there. So I wouldn't say this is something that is actually gonna improve your skin over time. I mean, maybe it's like a clever play on words because he's called it like a BBB cream. So it's not actually a BB cream, but you know, that could confuse the average kind of customer, you know, someone using makeup, like they would assume that's BB cream and therefore improves your skin over time, blah, blah, blah. But there's nothing actually written on the front of this. So realistically, the way that I look at it, if it's not written on the front of the packaging, then I'm not really gonna go onto the website and have a look because realistically it should be on the front. If there's anything drastic that it does for your skin, it should be on the front of the packaging and it isn't on this. So let's put this aside, but I'm not gonna be using that one today because I don't feel like that really fully kind of ticks the boxes when it comes to a BB cream. So, but I did want to be honest with you that that is something else that I have. Now, the Herborean is, that's a brand which is a Korean skincare brand. So as we all know, Korean skincare is great. I have kind of dabbled a little bit in Korean skincare. I've used a little bit of it and I, every time I've loved it, but I haven't actually gone full in with a full skincare line and used any of their products, which actually someone just sent me some stuff and I may be using that soon, so I'll keep you updated. But this is probably the one Korean skincare brand that I feel like is a bit more globally known because it is in places like Sephora. Maybe not the one in the US, I'm not sure, but maybe check that out. I don't even know if it's in this one. Maybe I got this from somewhere else, I don't know. But this is a kind of care cream and they say it here, it's a covering care cream. This has SPF 20. Now this specific one actually does offer more coverage 
coverage than a traditional BB cream. And if you remember, I mentioned that CC cream actually usually has more coverage than a BB cream. It, it does actually state this on here. It says that it provides more coverage than an original BB cream. And they actually have an original one, by the way. This one is the Super BB cream. And the reason it's super is because it does have more coverage. Now, this one is great if you have things like redness, if your skin is inflamed a little bit. So it's very good for sensitive skin. So if you feel like you've got sensitive skin, then this is gonna be great for it. If you feel like you've broken out and it's a little bit inflamed, perfect. This is the one that you wanna use. Now this actually has 100% mineral sun filters in here. And like I said, it is SPF 20. But the great thing about this is you can actually use this instead of your skincare as well. So that's another reason I feel like there's always a fine line between BB and CC. So you can use this instead of your skincare. It is going to help improve your skin over time. And it does have niacinamide in here, which is great for clearing up the skin if you do have kind of blemish prone skin. So if you have blemishes on your face, if you have spots, if you break out quite a lot with makeup, try this because I I think you're going to love this. Now, again, you can, like I said, use this instead of your moisturizer. So in terms of like when you should use it, you can use this anytime. You can use this in place of your moisturizer. You can use it after your moisturizer if you like. And if you, if you want to put a primer on underneath, you can do that too. It's absolutely fine too. But if you wanted to use a BB cream with concealer, you can also do that because the CC, like I said, has a little bit more coverage. But I do feel like the coverage in this specific one is really great. This is the Super BB cream. And like I said, the Super BB cream has way more coverage than the traditional BB cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And like I said, this is a little bit more fluid. And I'm just gonna use my brush and I'm just gonna like paint this on onto this side. And you can really see the difference. And you should see that you do get more of a matte finish with the CC cream. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, go over the areas like my eyes, just so you can really kind of see the difference. There you go. So there you go. That's the BB cream on this side. This is a CC cream on this side. As you can tell, I can definitely see this is a little bit more matte. And also this has more coverage than this side. But this side is a little bit more luminous. It does give me more coverage than a traditional BB cream, but it definitely isn't more than this CC cream. Like I think I could get away with using this CC cream in place of my concealer as well, because it's actually covered up that eye circle like pretty well. This one, I feel like I'd still need to use a little bit of concealer with it and probably put a little bit of powder on there. Although, you know, if you want that glowy look, then you can also use it like that too. Both of these shades that I've used are the right, like the correct shades that I need currently for my skin tone because I'm quite tanned, but they do have other shades that are available too. From what I remember, the Herborean Super BB doesn't have too many shades. So the shade range isn't amazing, but it definitely is better than what it used to be like for generally speaking for BB creams. Now, if you want to use an SPF with this, an additional SPF, you can, you can put that on underneath and just carry on with your CC cream or your BB cream. And if you want to add powder on top to kind of set your entire face you can also do that so when it comes to when you should use a bb cream and a cc cream hopefully that kind of un like explains it all to you properly now one last thing i want to mention and this is something that i do and i feel like for anyone wondering when you should use either of these i feel like this is a really really good kind of like tip for you now i use both of these and i use them when as and when i need them so if i feel like i want something which is not a foundation so i want something that's really going to be looking after my skin and and also gives me great coverage. So it gives me, ticks every box of a foundation, but it is also looking after my skin and kind of like, especially when I know like the heat at the moment, I feel like when you pack on makeup, it can't, it's not exactly great for you. And this way in the heat, especially in this like Dubai weather, it's so humid at the moment, you know, you sweat and things and you just know that with your normal foundation, all that sweat and everything, it's just really not good for your skin underneath. So that's when I usually use a CC cream. Now the time that I use a BB cream is usually when when my skin is a little bit inflamed or it is a little bit sensitive or maybe I don't really require that much coverage and I just want to go out with a little bit of BB cream and that's it. This I will always use if I want that extra bit of coverage. So this kind of replaces my foundation. Whereas this is just my, you know, like just a little bit of a tint, but I know it does look after my skin and it is also giving me SPF protection as well. That's when you can use them. You can use them both together as well. So 
I would highly recommend getting one of each, especially if you feel like your skin, like maybe you need it for the same reasons that I do. For example, replacing your foundation with this and then on the days where maybe you just want something which is really, really light, but gives you protection and gives you a nice, like even finish as well, then you can use this. So that's when you should be using them. Whenever you feel that that particular one ticks the box, you don't have to use this every single day. You don't have to use this every single day. I would invest in both and just kind of look at, right, when can I use this? when can I use this what's my skin feeling like today therefore it's feeling a little bit kind of dry I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage I'm gonna go for the CC cream because that's hydrating as well and it's really got those added ingredients in there and gives me great coverage okay today the next day maybe you're feeling like your skin is a little bit red a little bit sensitive you're breaking out a bit I'm gonna opt for the BB cream today so it's really a case of like kind of answering your skin like just seeing what is your skin asking for and when should I be using these products what does it need right now okay it needs that I'll go for that it needs that I'll go for that listen to your skin and honestly it will reward you in turn because if you listen to your skin and start looking after it in this way I feel like it's just an added way of you ensuring that your skin becomes clearer and better over time. So I really do hope that this has kind of answered your questions when it comes to BB creams and CC creams about when you should be using it. If you do have any more questions then do let me know in the comments box below. If you like this video please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video take care and I'll see you soon.